everybody. We're back again with another installment of Problem of the Week. We're just coming off a record-setting number of entrants in problem number six, and we've got a great one lined up for you in problem number seven. So I'm here today with Mudasir Ali. Welcome, Mudasir. Thank you, Brian. And so um, today's, today's problem really focuses on calculation groups, and Mudasir has become our in-house expert on calculation groups, has put together a lot of great videos on the channel about different aspects of this, this technique. And so I wanted to ask you kind of what sparked your interest in this to begin with and kind of develop that, that expertise. Yeah, uh, first of when I saw the first video on calculation groups, uh, I was kind of mesmerized how they can reduce your time and really reduce your measures in, in your report. Uh, the, the main thing that people know about calculation groups is just they, they can only use it with time intelligence calculations, right? And with time intelligence calculations, you can have different types of measures, for example, different measures for sales, cost, margin, or any other measure you like. Um, and it really take up a lot of space in your report and it kind of get messy. But when I started using calculation groups, um, uh, I really learned a lot of things the the different things you can do with calculation groups. For example, you can use them as um, dynamic x-axis and y-axis in your visuals. And, and really you can do a lot with, with calculation groups. If you, if you have the basics right in your calculation group, then you're good to go and you can try many, many different things. And that's really what you're getting at in this, in this problem, right? It's kind of, a, kind of a basics primer for those folks who haven't really delved into that. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. So why don't we, if we can get you to share your screen and we can jump right into talking about this, this week's problem. Yeah, sure. So this is our uh, requirement for the problem number seven. And uh, the title of this problem is dynamic report with calculation groups. So basically the first requirement is to calculate the different time intelligence measures, having dynamic formatting with the help of uh, calculation groups. Uh, what do I mean by that if we go to different screen? You can see in this table visual, we have month and year. We have different measures, sales, cost, margin, margin percentage. This measure uh, I have already created in, in here. And with time intelligence uh, calculation group, what we can do, we can um, filter this data uh, with, uh, if you want to click on previous month, previous year, month over month. So these are all dynamic. And the second requirement is to calculate the different metrics like maximum, minimum, top five and daily average with calculation groups. So if I click on max, so in January, 2011, the maximum sale in that month on a particular day was 168 million. And the maximum cost was 2.8, the same thing as minimum, daily average, and other key metrics. Um, and the third requirement is to dynamically exclude specific measures. And this means that, for example, if I click on daily average, you can see that my margin percentage is not showing any result. Why? Because uh, if I hadn't done that, what it would have done, it would have taken the the percentage 98.32, and it would have divided by the number of days 31 because we are looking at the daily average. So this is not the type of result we want to show if we uh, are clicking on daily average and top five. So we want to exclude the uh, measures, margin the measure margin percentage when we select daily average and top five. And the fourth requirement is to use measures as a small multiples with calculation groups. Uh, for example, whenever we use uh, a small multiple, we can see that we can only show one measure in a small multiple visual, but with different categories like Asia, Europe, and North America, we can see uh, sales in different months in, in this continent. But uh, what we have done over here, we we are using different measures as our small multiple with the help of calculation groups. And the last requirement 
is to sort the measures in a small multiple visual with calculation groups. So you have to sort this uh, measure. For example, I want sales to show first in a, my small multiple visual, then cost and then margin. And yeah, basically that's, uh, that's the requirement that we are looking for this problem number seven. That's great. So a lot, a lot to do in this one. I wanted to go back to the time intelligence um, grouping, yeah. which is, so if you were to create those with individual measures, that would yeah. be what, 24 separate measures you would need to, to create. Exactly. And so exactly. you did that with, with how many calculation groups? Like one, two, three, six calculation items we have for time intelligence. So it's basically, it will take you like, if you know how to use calculation groups, like 10 minutes maximum. Great. And yeah, so it cuts, cuts down by 75% the number of measures that you need. Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, for folks who have not delved into calculation groups yet, what's some advice you give them in terms of kind of how to get, how to get started on this problem? Um, since so it's really kind of a new way of looking at, yeah. at measures and a new way of organizing your, your analysis. Yeah. Uh, if they haven't really dived into calculation groups, so for the first part, what they can do, they can go to Enterprise DNA channel and look at our video called Introduction to Calculation Groups. We will provide the links in the description. And for the second part, they can go and have a look at the video Calculation Groups to Your Rescue, and they will see how they can create different metrics. And to dynamically exclude specific measures, they can go and check different blogs. And the measure name is called Selected Measure Name. And they can go and check, check that out on different blogs and different videos on YouTube. And to use measures as a small multiples with calculation groups, we all again have one video which show how to use measures as categories in visuals. That's called avoid and, and pivoting columns with calculation groups. And to sort the measure small multiple, they can, they can also learn how to do that with, with, with the videos I mentioned, which are available in the enterprise DNA channel. Great, great. So basically everything, everything you need is there somewhere. Exactly, yeah. Great. Well, thanks so much, Mirsir, for putting this together. Um, really look forward to seeing how, uh, how folks address this one and looking forward to hopefully another record turnout this, uh, this week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. So thanks thank again. You, yeah, thank you. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.